dilations and similarity transformations were at 7.2a with one previous video for the chapter so far. A transformation that maps xy to kx, ky, so we're going to be multiplying x and y by whatever the value that k is, okay? That's where k is greater than 0. That's a dilation with center 0, 0, the origin, and our scale factor is k. If k is greater than 0 but less than 1, the dilation is a reduction. So if we're multiplying the x and y values by something less than 1, like 3 fourths or a half or 2 thirds, well, then it's going to be 3 fourths or half or 2 thirds the size of the original image, right? Of the, of the pre-image. So if k is greater than 1, the dilation is an enlargement because we're going to be multiplying it by 2 or 3 or 4, okay? And remember that for any pair of similar polygons, there's a similarity ratio that relates corresponding side lengths. We talked about that in 7.1. If you're confused, you might want to go back and watch that one first, okay? So now we'll work with similar polygons in a coordinate plane using transformations. The similarity ratios will now be called scale factors. That's the K, all right? That's the scale factor. So here's drawing and describing dilations. We can apply the dilation D, that's this, to the given vertices. So we're going to do whatever X and Y is, we're going to do a transformation to 2X, 2Y. So we have A, B, C. A is 2 for X and 1 for Y. We're going to multiply the X times 2 and the Y times 2 for each one of these. And A prime is going to be 4, 2. B is going to turn into B prime, that is 4, 6. And C, that is a 5, 1, is going to be C prime, that's a 10, 2. And we can graph these points, and we can graph these points, and we get this black triangle with A prime, B prime, C prime as this purple one, okay? So remember, the original figure is the pre-image, and the transformation is the image, that's the copy. And we use tick marks to identify the copy, the image, okay? So this is a dilation with a center of dilation at 0, 0, that origin, and a scale factor of 2. Okay? It's an enlargement of the pre-image. So the pre-image, the black one, enlarged times 2 and became A prime, B prime, C prime. All right? Here we have a dilation D, but we're supposed to multiply our X and Y values by 2 thirds. Ooh, that's less than 1. So we have PQR and the ordered pairs, when we multiply each of them by two-thirds, we get P prime, Q prime, R prime, and look, P went from a negative six for X and a three for Y to a negative four for X and a two for Y. That's smaller, all right? And Q went from negative three, nine to negative two, six, and R went from three, six to R prime as a two, four. And we can graph these ordered pairs and these ordered pairs. So PQR is the black one, and P prime, Q prime, R prime is the littler red one. When we draw lines from the origin through P prime to P, and through Q prime to Q, and from R prime to R, we see that the vertices go through those rays, don't they? So this is a dilation with the center of dilation at 0, 0, and the origin, that's the origin, and our scale factor is 2 thirds, okay? That's the value of K. It's a reduction of the pre-image. In a dilation, the pre-image and image are similar because they have the same shape. When the figures in a dilation are polygons, the pre-image and image are similar polygons. So corresponding side lengths are proportional and corresponding angles are congruent. This means that dilations preserve angle measures. So the angle measure of P is the same as the angle measure for P prime, see? And a transformation that produces similar figures is a similarity transformation. A similarity transformation is a dilation or composite of one or more dilations and one or more congruence transformations. Do you remember those? Those are translations, reflections, rotations. Those are slides, flips, and turns, okay? And two figures are similar if and only if there is a similarity transformation that maps one figure to the other. Here's determining whether polygons are similar. We can determine whether polygons with the given vertices are similar. So we've got A, B, C, D, and the ordered pairs, and we can graph that. And we've got H, J, K, L, the ordered pairs, we graph that. And 
we end up with these two triangles. ABCD is the black one, and HJKL is the smaller blue one. And when we draw uh, rays from the origin through J to B, they go through the same ray, and we have K and C going through the same ray, and L and D going through the same one, and H and A going through the same one. So yes, they're similar. ABCD can be mapped to HJKL by a dilation where the scale factor is a two-thirds. And every dilation has an inverse, and scale factors are reciprocal, so we can even say the scale factor is three halves, okay? Now let's take a look at this. We have PQRS, and we can plot the ordered pairs, and we have WXYZ, and we can plot the ordered pairs. But look what happens when we try to do our ray coming from the origin. They don't pass through corresponding points. They're not related by a dilation. When we go from the origin through Q, it does not go through X. When we go through the origin to S, it doesn't go through Z, and this P doesn't go through W, and R doesn't go through Y. So no, the rule that the scale factor would be 2.5x and 2.5y, so our scale factor is 2.5. It maps p to w, so 2 for x times 2.5 would get us to a 5, and for y it would get us to a 5, and for the x values of q and x it would work, but look what happens with q and x when we go to the y value. 4 times 2.5 is a 10, not a 9. So there's no similarity transformation that maps pqrs to wxyz. Okay, so now we've got this one. We've got A, B, C in the ordered pairs, and we plot them, and we get this little triangle. And we've got D, E, F, and we plot them, and we get this bigger blue triangle. And, yes, if we translate slide little A, B, C up and enlarge it, we'll get D, E, F. So there's two transformations. First, we do X minus 5, Y plus 1. Then we'll have A prime, B prime, C prime that could be mapped to 3 times x, 3 times y for a dilation, okay? Our next video is proving circles similar, that's 7.2b, and that's going to be followed by angle-angle, side-side-side, and side-angle-side similarity for 7.3, okay? So now you know about dilations and similarity transformations, and I hope you understood and I'll see you next time, and we'll talk about circles. Have a great day. Bye.